Hi right, guys, Larry from Northern Coast, September 22nd, and I'm going to do an update on my Cracky DWC and the way in the back, uh, my Compost T Hydroponic setup. It is raining, but it doesn't rain too bad, but the Cracky end up uh, bouncing back pretty nice. Starting to get some uh, nice sized tomatoes, or about, you know, a little bit above average for this style of plant. The roots look kind of nasty, but once I started keeping the water level down, about two inches from the bottom of the bucket, uh, the plant really responded. And plus, um, wrapping this Tyvek uh, around the bucket to keep the water temperature down uh, has really helped out a lot. So, <clears throat> so far, uh, the cracky bounced back pretty nice. This is the DWC. I'm getting ready to go through my second batch of uh, tomatoes. These are determinate Siletz uh, tomatoes. I figured I'd be done. I'd do a final uh, weight count. I've been mean, uh, keeping track of the weight of the tomatoes from all three plants. But uh, all right, let's zoom in here for the roots. If I can get in here, yeah, I'm looking really good. And of course, uh, as soon as I start filming, it just starts downpouring on me. But here's near view of the DWC pepper down there. Every time I Got a camera in my hand. She's got to see what's going on. But uh, really, really happy with the DWC. This thing's produced a ton of tomatoes. And uh, here towards the end of the video, I got a few clips from the summer showing some of the tomatoes we got going on with this one. July 31st, the first cracky tomato. Check her out. Not very big, probably about three ounces, but uh, hey, I'll take it. And the first DWC one's ready. Check her out. Hopefully this is my one pounder, but eh, I think it'll be a little short, but we'll see. August 4th, and we got some tomatoes ready to pick, so zoom you in. Crackies ready. A little small, but they're average size for what these uh, tomatoes listed at. And another one there. And Cracky's definitely uh, a lot smaller than the, the DWC. Probably right around three ounces, maybe four ounce tomatoes on the Cracky. And DWC, those are nice five ounces. Maybe a little bigger, but right around. We're getting to some of the bigger ones. Now this is the biggest one I've grown so far, and I was hoping to hit a one pounder, but I think I'm going to be a little short, so i got a few more days on it, so. We'll see. We got a whole bunch ready to pick, so I'm gonna pick these out, or pick them, and weigh them out, and see what we got. All right, there's my first harvest. Here on the left, have my cracky. These are averaging right around three and a half ounces. The DWC are averaging right around seven, some close to eight ounces. A little bit of splitting there on the DWC uh, tomatoes. I heard that's common, but uh. Man, I'm really impressed with the DWC. It's August 4th, about 9 in the morning, and you can see it's uh, not even 60 degrees here in the greenhouse. So, uh, without hydroponics, I, would, I have a very difficult time growing tomatoes in my uh, very cold summer climate, or we like to call it cool. August 9th, and this is the tomato I was hoping to be able to catch Brock. Don't think I made it, but. This is definitely the biggest tomato I've ever grown, so this is off the DWC, so let's prune this bad boy and see what she weighs. Alright. Oh, 13 and a quarter ounces. That was uh, quite a ways away from Brock, but uh, really excited about my, uh, my tomato. Well, I'll give her a shot next year. Now this is the compost tea hydroponics and uh, it's struggled at best. It's starting to bounce back. Um, it's starting to get some, a few more flowers. I only harvested uh, 10 tomatoes off this guy and uh, it's just too late in the year. It's not going to be able to, the fruit is, isn't going to have enough time to ripen here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this plant and take a, take a look at the roots. Alright, we got her outside and uh, it doesn't look too bad. It actually bounced back pretty, uh, pretty, 
pretty nice, but it's just too late in the season. It's just, uh, I'm not going to have time to get the bill of harvest of fruit, I'm thinking, so. And plus, uh, I'm worried about to see that uh, fungus and stuff going on. I really don't want that spreading to my other tomatoes, so she's got to go. All right, let's take a look through it to see how uh, how she did. Kind of nasty looking, <laughs> but I mean, the roots look semi-white other than the brown brown tint, brown stain from the compost. The roots aren't near as big as the. Uh, the regular hydrophonics. Um, my DWC has a big old ball growing there. All right, and there's the water. Looks a little nasty, but no smell. I haven't did a uh, water change in over a month. I just kind of want to see if anything uh, end up on the bottom here. So let's get rid of some of this water. Actually, not too bad. I figured uh, there'd been some compost around the bottom, but it wasn't a. Uh, there's a little bit, but uh, nothing major, not what I was uh, expecting. I tried this with lettuce this year with my little, little uh, lettuce tote, and it actually did pretty good. So, And I actually uh, figured I'd get better results than what I did. You know, like I was saying earlier, I only ended up with, uh, with 10 tomatoes off this, and uh, compared to my hydroponic system, uh, the DWC buckets, and this wasn't even nowhere close. So uh, this will probably be the last year, I might try it again, for, for tomatoes anyways, but uh, this will probably be my last year with compost tea for uh, trying to grow tomatoes in them. Well, I was hoping this was going to be my last video and I was going to do a final uh, tally on how many tomatoes each one grew and the weights on it, but uh, this thing both of these buckets really surprised me. They've done pretty darn good, especially the, the DWC. And actually, uh, with these determinants, I ended up with a second harvest, which I've never had before. And I probably got another uh, three weeks before uh, I had to pull these. So, uh, all right, so probably the end of October, I'll shoot a video, give you my numbers, and uh, hopefully everybody's had a really good summer. And uh, take care. Have a good one.